practice some Dota. I haven't played yesterday. Holy Lady Gaga popping off. Lady Gaga is about to pop off. I love Lady Gaga. You have received an item, Mantle of Endless Havoc. What if you do an educational Dota shim? I don't even, maybe I shouldn't even queue up the game. Maybe I should just practice to every champion a bit. Maybe watch some YouTube videos. Better. I definitely want to practice to some champs though. Maybe I should make a habit. I practice to like 10 champs each day. Alchemist. Just so I learn some abilities. Like what the fuck mm -hmm. is this champion? Alchemist. I think this guy crafts potions, I think, right? Or some dog shit. One acid spray armor reduction, unstable concussion radius to damage per gravity grid stack. Acid spray grants armor to allies. It's open one chemical range base. Chemical rage movement speed, chemical rage regeneration. That's the ult, yeah. So it's like a singe, maybe? He farms super fast? Okay, so let me see. So first of all, is he a ranged or melee? He's melee. Let me see his auto attack. Okay. You what is this? Grants bonus gold when you kill units. Plus four. Wait, does he stack this passive? Let's see, passive. Alchemist synthesizes additional gold from his enemies, uh, from his enemies and bounty wounds. Which it, which it, the, with each kill, Al Alchemist earns base bonus gold and extra bonus gold. If Alchemist kills another unit which yields gold within the next 34 36 seconds, an additional instance of extra bonus gold is added to the total. Additionally, it causes bounty runes to yield more gold. And if you die, it doesn't go away, yeah? Okay. Q. Sprays high pressure acid across the target area. Enemy units who step across the contaminated terrain take damage per second and have their armor reduced. The radius goes up by rank. Oh, okay. I mean, that looks like a. I mean, the hitbox of the zone. of the, Like, the ability range is insane, right? I'm going, I'm going. W. Uh, Alchemist brews up an unstable concussion that he can throw at an enemy hero to stun and deal damage in an area around the explosion. The longer the concussion brews, the more damage it is, and the longer the stun. Alchemist is faster while charging the concussion. After 5 seconds, the brew reaches its maximum damage and stun time. However, after 5.5 seconds, the concussion will explode and Alchemist himself is not thrown. Time. Oh, you can like run. Oh, and there's a timer above your head. And then you get self stunned. Yeah. Oh, I get it, I get it, I get it. So if you, if you hold W and then someone stuns you at the end of the duration, you can self stun yourself, which is a really big problem. Oh, that's a really cool spell. I really like this spell. This is a really cool spell, Aimo. Chat, can I make this axe, like this, this bot's higher level at, at, at some point or not? Oh, I can. It's heating up. Easy now. Ooh. That's cool. Uh, corrosive weaponry. Alchemist causes his weapon with an acid that applies at a stacking slow and status resistance reduction to enemies hit. Slow and status resistance increases when Alchemist is under the effect of chemical rage. Causes his weapon with an acid that applies a stacking slow and status resistance. Cut and run. Oh, so he's slower and slower. You can see it. His wound speed is going down and stacking. Status resistance. What is status resistance exactly? What does that even mean? Run. So when he gets on top of you, it doesn't basically... Okay. You can't really run away from Into him. Wars, oh, it's tenacity. Status resistance is tenacity. Okay. Hey, you're making me spill. Alchemist causes his ogre to enter a chemically induced rage, reducing base attack cooldown and increasing movement speed and health region. So it's like a sensual. 30 seconds time. What is the cooldown on this thing? 60 seconds only? Base attack speed. This attack time. Bonus health region, bonus moon speed. Oh, Oh, he heals a lot. Look at that. He's healing a lot. And the ult is very long. This champ is basically just... 
out attacking people down. That's it. Like he's the, the whole champion is just press R and run into people and just auto them down. It's like a Mundo meets singed kinda. And then your Q is just like there. No fun. Power farmer? Is he a tank or a carry? Or both. He farms fast to get an early advantage. Okay, but why does he farm la oh, he's a carry, okay. But why does he farm fast? Like what is giving him a fast farm? Like just items in general? Does he have like good attack speed scaling or what? Oh what is this? Wait, I didn't even realize. What is this red line and green line and bottom line below? This is like agility shanked intelligence. The passive? Yes! What passive are we talking about? Grievous Greed? This one? Like this passive gives him a lot of gold on jungle camps or what? Basically is what you guys are saying. So he spikes with items giga fast. And what does the scepters do? Alchemist melts down a Ghanim scepter to grant an allied hero all on Ghanim scepter upgrades. A Ghanim scepter upgrades. Our, uh, alchemist will gain bonus damage and spell amplification for each gifted scepter. Wait, I'm confused. How does this work? What exactly happens here? So he gives you a free scepter or what? If you have alchemists in your team, you want to have a champion that abuses the, sap the scepter? You buy scepters. It's like an Ornult, uh, Ornult upgrade. Berserker potion. Alchemist throws a potion at an ally, applying a basic dispel and giving them attack speed, moon speed, and HP region. Okay. Okay, so now he's like a support, supporter type of ability. Do people buy any of the scepters on this on this character? This character is kind of cool, honestly. Like I, I, I kind of dig it. Like a stupid version of Mundo. Let's go. Oh, you can give it to yourself. Late game. Go go go. Support Alchemist is played by Bros. Like on a supportive role? Mm. But honestly, this champion like sounds kinda cool. Yep. Oh, he's gold on mid minions? Okay. Let me see. Give me that up. On your your middle tower is under attack. This map is so it's small. You're shaking my broom. I got 36 plus 45. Right now I got 36 plus 16, I think. Oh, that's a fountain. I didn't even realize it's a fountain. No. Alright, let's try one more hero. I'm just gonna go one by one. Time to get every hero down. I see this guy X a lot. I wanna definitely kinda try, uh, like, see what the fuck this champion does. Every time you spawn a bot, this X guy spawns. Okay, so let's go. 1% moon speed per active battle hunger, 4 plus calling blade speed bonus duration, 30 counter helix damage, 12 battle hunger slow. Easiest champion. One bonus armor per calling blade stack, 150 calling blade damage, 100 plus burger call. I don't know what any of these do. Okay, Q. Um, Axe stones nearby enemy units, force them to attack him at a high speed while he gains bonus armor during the duration. It's like a taunt. So let me see this again. Okay. Like a taunt that gives you armor. Okay. W battle hunger. Enrages an enemy unit, causing it to take damage over time until it kills another unit or the duration ends. The damage is increased by, by a factor of Axe's armor. The enemy is also slowed as long as they're facing away from Axe. Oh, okay, so the counter plays you don't want to run away and you want to kill like a minion and then the W goes away. The is that how it works? So now this guy is perma losing health for 12 seconds, but if they kill a minion, the health, like you're gonna stop losing health basically, right? Counter Helix. After a set number of attacks, Axe will perform a Helix counter attack, dealing pure damage to all nearby enemies. 
So if he gets hit by four, if you hit him four times, he will do this automatic counter helix. Okay, that's kind of easy. That makes sense because it has synergy with his Q. R, Calling Blade. Axe spots a weakness of sharks dealing pure damage. When an enemy hero is killed with Calling Blade, its cooldown is reset. Axe gains bonus armor, pen armor pen uh, permanently and all nearby allied units also gain bonus moves with an armor. Rest is for the is that Darius R? Oh, what the fuck is that animation? The animation is horrible. Genuinely. Like, maybe it's just me who thinks that, but I would much rather... Like, Darius is such a bad animation than this. Oh, it's just like I... Oh, yeah, I mean, that makes sense. It's just a Darius ult. And then you run faster too. And you get bonus armor again. Yeah, that sounds like an easy champion. A Berserker Skull applies Battle Hunger to affected units, reduces Berserker Skull cooldown. Okay. That's, uh, and then Battle Hunger, Battle Hunger also reduces enemy armor and guns Axe armor per affected target. Uh, then we have the Shard, Counter Helix. Counter Helix now applies attack and debuff to enemies hit by that causes them to deal less total attack damage. Axe, Counter Helix no longer has a cooldown. Wait, Counter Helix no longer has a cooldown, so each time someone attacks you, it's just gonna be deployed permanently? So if you play against like maybe a, like a full melee comp, you kinda want this or what? I mean, this champion to me just sounds like a really good champion against... Melees. Position 3. What does he even buy? I've never seen any of this. Okay, so he goes Blink Dagger. That makes sense because like you want enemies to not kite you too much. What is this item? Hello? Blade Mail. That's the Thor Mail, right? Enemies need Take healing. Blade is under attack. Look out! It's like a Ramos in a way. Runs the target from attacking for 3 seconds in melee and 5 on range. Ramos Darius mix, yeah, okay, makes sense. Axe can one shot Medusa? Why? Why exactly is that the case? If I may ask, what the hell? You should try Sidelin. I, mean, I feel like mid lane is kind of my, my lane in this game, honestly. I mean, maybe mid lane on position 1. I mean, I can kind of see myself... Like, playing support in this game probably isn't as boring though as it is in League. Because you can probably play support in a way where you just do camps whole game, and then you kind of become a carry. Am I wrong or what? I feel like you can kind of play like that. Um, what should I do now? I, play, I, 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 I tried two, two characters. I'm gonna be doing this every day, so I slowly learn all characters, okay? So I'm just gonna do like a few characters each day. Just go over their abilities, because I haven't done that. A lot of these characters I've never tried. Especially characters in Shanked. And like, yeah, especially in Shanked characters, I think I haven't really tried much. Um... That, watch 10 minutes of top, pub, mid lane to learn some small stuff. Okay, how like how do I find like a replay of like some decent mid laner? What do I have to press? Like watch and then what? Watch now. Okay, watch now. And then what exactly am I looking for? I kinda wanna play I kinda wanna watch a champion that I play. Queen, there, watch Queen. Like this guy? Oh, this is like a TS sampler? Thing is, like, if I watch him. Oh, he has a thousand views. What the fuck? Thing is, like, he's rank six. Okay, but, um. 
He plays Storm Spirit. I don't know. I mean, I don't really play the champion. Watch here. And what if I go... What's a mid lane champion? Like Zeus, let's say. Let me see. What happens then? Top player rank 51. Or oh, this is like Zeus... Zeus... Um, okay, let's, can I watch the game from the beginning, even though he's right now, like, 34 minutes in the game? Can I go back to the beginning? Yes or no? Yes? Okay, how do I go to the beginning? How? Here. Chad, this is... Top right. Here, right? Well, I can't go to the beginning. Wait, let me. Oh, let me. Let me. What? What do I have to pick? How do I go to the beginning? Do I have to keep pressing minus sixty. It doesn't go. You can't. The bar drag it back. This is the max it goes. Thirty-three minutes. Guys, like, you can't go to the beginning. All the perks, none of the drawbacks. You can't in life. What the fuck is this? Is this chat talking? This. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this spectator chat. Yeah, wait. Um, I want to watch the game from the beginning because, yeah, I also won't understand anything. Um, you need replays then, really? Back replays, okay. And then what? You can check his match history. So if I go, how? No! What the fuck am I doing? Um, replace. The go. Someone told me to to check this. What is this? What champion will I be even watching this game? Zeus? This game? Watching this Zeus guy? Or what? Okay, how do I watch this? Donald replay? He compromising. Watch your play. <laughs> Zeus versus Void Spirit. Alright. Okay, I'm watching this guy. And I should have camera on him the entire the time, yeah? How do I keep the camera on him the entire time? Don't worry, Good camera. This one's in the back. Player view. Okay, I got it. My oh, and now I see his mouse cursor, right? This is his mouse cursor, okay. Okay. That's so cool. I mean, I actually see his mouse cursor. We're actually just stealing him. We're stealing his skill right now. Step lively now. Your admiral is on board. What? How did he click his camera like that? How did he do that? And why the fuck is this guy just AFKing? I'm better at him at this than he is. The battle begins. What? Can I pass? Wow, what the fuck? So, okay. So when does this rune spawn at zero zero or what? So this rune is gonna spawn at zero zero. The battle and then he auto attacks him and blocks him and takes the rune first because he just pre-clicks it? Again, how does he... How does he fucking... 
How does he flick the camera like that? On his teammates? Like what? How does he do that? Let me see this again. Go back. That's a really interesting way of blocking minions. Mouse wheel? I mean, he blocked the minions way better. Oh, he plays against... Okay. There's so much trading already. The choice is made. Okay, what is that uh, Void Spirit doing? Damn, this Zeus animation is so interesting. The way he's denying minions. This guy definitely knows his auto attack time really well compared to me. So he ate a tree and the way he why did he cut the minions in such a weird way there? This is Q to last hit. I definitely see his thing that reads. This camera movement is giving me AIDS though. I feel like it's so bad. Maybe it's just me, but I really don't like this guy's camera movement. He's also attacking a lot. He doesn't care about creep damage. Ooh, wait, what did... Holy fuck, playing with fire. He has the fire charm to heal up. Holy, the way he's killing minions. He's gonna eat a tree soon, I think. Oh, he got battle. I wish you could see what he queues up in the shop, but I don't think you can see that in the replay. I mean, he has such good lane state right now. You can kill him, I think. Can't he? Oh. Wow, that was so close. Holy shit. I mean, he's gonna reach him with bottle now. What did he just do there? Wait, well, let me go back here. I got so confused. What the fuck did he just do there? How much back did I go? I went back too much. You swap stats out so you get more region. Oh, that's so disgusting. What the fuck? Okay, he's in a good state. Then he does this like heavy aggressive trade here, which I kind of get it. That guy does a good taunt. And then what happens here? So he quickly... Wait, but he only... Chat, he only swapped one branch out. Aren't you supposed to swap all of them out if you really care? Or do he just... Did it free? How? I'm busy watching his inventory. I only saw one. What the fuck? All three are on CD. Oh, so when an item is on CD, it doesn't give you stats? When an item is on CD, it doesn't give you stats. So you just insta swaps them out and in. So he drinks one potion, and then he drinks the second one. Okay. So basically, the way Midland works is that when someone goes for a water rune, the other guy will obviously get the other one in early game because you can't like protect both. It's like not possible. Especially with wards, you have too much vision, right? He's doing a good job plus hitting. But I really wish you could see the shop in the replay to see like, because right now, Courier is delivering items apparently, but I don't know what he's buying. Like if I press P, it's not gonna show what he's buying, right? Wait, what is this? Is this the guide he has selected? This right here? He has selected this? Or not? No, it's yours. Pin the items. Wait, he, he has this item pinned because these are like components that you need to kind of buy a lot or what? 
Click on his career. Where exactly is his career in this case? Is this this is his career? About magic stick and clarity. Helps mine. Oh, so these are my items. Pinned items are useful depending on matchup. I mean, I kind of get it. So this is a normal ward. This is like a pink ward. This is like... I don't even get this. This is like... It reveals stall champions, I think. It's like an oracle you put on the ground. This is like... It reduces magic damage, I think. No, wait. This is the oracle. This is... I don't know what. This is... It's... It's stealth. The fuck? You can buy stealth in the game. It's who's typing me. I got a notification by... We are excited to announce Discord loot boxes. Are you, are you stupid, Discord? Okay, I see Caps is 6 stone already. On. Okay, let's continue the replay. I want to see how he plays more. I feel like I'm learning more about the game watching replay than playing it myself at this point. This is a, obviously like Azu's favorite lane, right? Like this Storm Spirit or whatever the champion is, he's playing as, he's just a weak laner. He's a scaling champion. Wait, let me go back. Let me go back. I'm confused there. I understand. So he gets clarity, he pops it, and then he swaps the stick into his main key. So if you take damage, does clarity stop? Yes or no? And he's gonna freeze the next wave because... Okay, so it stops. So he has to play safe there for clarity to go through. So he's just gonna freeze the wave. To get better lane state position. And now I assume he's just gonna go full aggro mode again. I mean, he's close to solo kill, but not quite. He, he runs out of mana at the end. And this storm spirit has this stupid... Uh, Oh, wow, he goes for the rune on top. And swaps out branches. Wow, and now he's gonna like go for that rune. And then he goes for this rune too. Wow. Go back. Why do I have to go back? 320? Go back to see what happened when support hit it. Okay, I'm, I'm looking. Wait, here? Wait, what did the support do? I don't get it. So he went mid, he support TP's mid, and then what happens? What did that do? Check bottle. Why can support refill bottle? Why? How? How does the support do that? How does the support do that? Fountain buff lasts? Wait, what? Fountain... He TPs from fountain... When you leave the fountain, you keep... Fuck, chat is going so fast. When you leave the fountain, you keep the buff for a few seconds, you refill any bottle you have, you pass the support, and he fizz and gives back. So he has to wait, let me get this straight. He has to he has to press on his bottle and give it to his inventory. The support. Yes. And then what does the support press to, to refill it? Does he have to press something or is it automatic? Nothing. Automatic. That's so crazy. Wow. So on high level you need to have a coordination with support to give you constant bottle refill in early game. Wow, oh, that's fucking insane. I didn't know that. I didn't even know that's in the game.
I mean, that is pretty crazy. I had no idea. That's insane. Did the Mirage also get the bottle refill? Not Mirage, like the player he's playing against. Did he also get the bottle refill or not? By his support. He did, yeah? But it's really interesting, like, why are supports meet at the boat at the same timing? Is that normal? Like, both of them got meet at the same timing. Like, I'm kind of worried, like, curious, like, what the fuck did the supports do this game? Because I don't really get how bottom top works in this game, why? Because I only play mid lane. They died. Supports only refill bottle if they died and don't need instant TP to sides. It's not that often that this happens. He doesn't really use W and E a lot in the combo, I've noticed, which makes sense. His main damage is in Q because it's the ability he maxes. Wait, again? Oh, he doubled that spot for a ward in mid lane, because it's a Zeus thing. And he immediately... I've noticed they don't really harass... I've noticed they don't really harass opponents under tower that much. Um, they rather just freeze waves and then harass them when the waves are better. That's yes, really good last hitting. So wait, let me let me see. Like this guy should have magic stick, right? Yeah, a, a magic one. Because when you play against Zeus, this item looks really OP because Zeus gives you so many chargers. Because this guy has only four chargers and this guy has 13. Bracer Iron Branch. You got Ringo Basilus. Basilus. Oh wait, I see this stash now. This means the courier is bringing it or what? Fuck, like I wish the Peaky would unfreeze the, the replay, but it doesn't. He's gonna wait for a cane boat, yeah, I, I get that. What is he looking at right now? Like, I don't get this camera movement. The way he's like... Oh, he's looking for ult, though. The way he's like, swapping camera is really weird to me. Like, I don't get how he does that. It doesn't even feel like it's an F key. Oh, is he gonna get one shot? There's like some... I don't know what's happening, because it's like both supports are mid right now. And this guy's way too low. And he looked for the... Potion on bot side, but it's it's not on bot. I know he's gonna fuck because of it, right? He also knows perfect tower damage. He knows how to set up minions. Okay, he dodged a spell. I think he wins. I think he wins. Oh, he doesn't win. Wow. He got like fucking gank from Pog of War. I guess that's what Void Spirit can do. Very, very mobile champion. I see a lot of nothing in your future. Dyer are scanning. He kind of got uh, fucked here, right? Because the rune spawned on top, not on bottom, right? That's why he got kind of fucked. First game stats. See information. What game stats? Fire tree cap? Oh, current gold. What should I even what should I even press here though? Last hits 44 41 6 your level that work? 
Okay, so he's like slightly behind in gold. Like, I don't really don't like this guy's camera movement. The way he's moving his camera, I really don't like it. Are you watching any proper in Dota? No. This is the first time I'm watching a Halo player, really. He has map on left, he just presses on map to move camera. Oh, because okay. I have map on right, so I'm getting confused. He's doing a camp. And he's doing it at a time where he can stack or what? Oh no, he got tier 1 token. I don't even know what token he got. What is this? Royal Jelly. This is like a token that you like use it kind of like Magic Queen. I support stacked it for him. What do you mean? Where did support stacked what for him? What do you mean support stacked? The cam? What do you mean support did the cam before or what? Is that what you guys are saying? I don't get it. Here? Dyer are scanning. Oh! So support leashes the camp. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh, dude, this is crazy. Wow, that's so fucking insane. Like how broken is support role in this video game? I thought I thought support was broken in league, but maybe I'm fucking wrong. Like, oh, Lee, support is disgusting in this game. Are you fucking crazy? No, that's really disgusting. Why is support such a disgusting role these days? Okay, okay. I've also noticed something else. Okay, I've also noticed something else. So like. Let me, let me show you what I mean, okay? So, like, there's certain camps in Dota that have more minions and certain camps that have less minions. Like, this camp right here, this fucking, I don't know what is this, like a bird or whatever the fuck? There's only two of them. But there's, like, some, like, there's some, like, ogre guys that, like, that, like, like to, like, split a lot. So, for example, if you're Zeus... I would assume you don't like doing this bird camp because there's only two of them. You want a camp that has multiple people because your Q bounces. Camp creeps also have different levels of magic and armor. Yeah, I have no clue about that. Like, I have no clue about that. The golems have magic is this, others are fine. Some camps are harder to take for magic heroes. Okay, okay. Alchemist likes small creeps because he can't get cheat ton of gold for each. Okay, that makes sense. Do we see support four to five times stack the Asian camp for the position one? Wait, wait, so support stack it for like four times, so then there's like 20 creeps on the same camp, is what you're saying? Damn, that's fucking insane. But support can only. Support can only stack like what more max than one or two camps, right? At the same time, like you, you can only like because you you only do this like once a minute, right? So, for example, this camp and like this camp, maybe you can stack. You could do free if you're good. Some heroes can stack three. Yeah, if you're Meepo, right, or some shit like that. Meepo has so much potential. Like, oh, that that character is crazy. Nipa is such a crazy character. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Me with 
I'm really confused here. Like, this part really confuses me. Like, why does he... Like... Why the, like he does this right where he he has like really good lane position, but then why does he keep out attacking? Why does he not slow push like in league right now? Why would he keep out attacking here? Why wouldn't he slow push to make more of his minions die? Like this is just a mistake, right? The farm jungle, but then why wouldn't he just use Q? Like why wouldn't she just do Q two Qs here to delete a wave? He's almost full mana anyway. And he has boots. Uh, activate it anyway. I think he's just trolling, if I'm being honest. Oh, okay. I mean, he knows how to respect opponents way more. Wait, his ult did no damage? What the fuck? How did he know the ward is right there? How did he know that? He had raindrops, yeah? Old Goose Vision? Common ward spot? The thing is like... I'm, I'm you know, like... Like, th there's, th there's randomly like four people mid right now. I don't know, like, it's the same in League, bro. Everyone just fucking is mid lane. Maybe I shouldn't main mid lane in Dota. Like everyone's just fucking going mid. Disgusting picks. Zuzu is a powerful in in initiation tool, not a finisher. How does that make any sense? Radiant Oscar. What is he buying now? Bought point booster. Is he buying this item? He's probably buying this item, right? Like, what does that item even do? I need to read it again. The next unit spell, the next unit target spell you cast on an enemy does a separate 150 bonus damage to the target and slows them by 50% for 1.5 seconds. So your Q becomes a slow or what? And you buy this on Zeus because. What is plus 7 to all attributes? What does that mean? Does that mean you get 7 armor? Intelligence, strength, agility. Oh, okay. No, I've never seen people upgrade to, to this item. I guess it just costs too much and it's not worth upgrading. You, you, you would rather just have this for the passive. Don't tell him to hover the icons at the bottom. What does that mean? What hover? What icon? Damn, I didn't even know what this item does until now. That's fucking embarrassing. Oh. Wait. This this is all the stats it gives you? Wait, so it gives you 84 mana, but if you just have it like this, it doesn't even show? It gives 84 mana? Why the fuck is that a thing? Why wouldn't an item just show you everything? Are these devs lazy or what? Oh, it comes from intelligence. Ah, okay. Uh -oh. I mean, yeah, they know the timings really well as well. Like, he got unlucky here, right? So this is like, okay, one of the most frustrating things about... One of the most frustrating things about mid lane is this RNG. Like, you just have a fucking 50-50 whether you get the rune or not. And this guy just got... what He got the regeneration rune, right? No, I don't know what rune he got. No, he got invisibility. Yeah, that's the most fucked up part about this game, IMO. Is the fact that... It's so RNG which rune you got, and this can lead to the side of the lane. Supports help contest it.
I wanna see how he last hits the cannon. The support needs to be on the other side to deny the rune that it spawns. Oh, that's crazy! Wait, what is he doing right now? Radiance bottom tower is under attack. What is he doing? Wait, someone help me understand what the fuck is he doing here? So he's laning? And then he just deems the cannon? Why does he do that? He's short, like he's just AFKing, right? Oh, he swapped out the branch for the boots? Is that what he did? Actually, I don't know what he just did. He dropped it on the floor? Shouldn't he drop every branch on the floor in that case? Oh, it's too like it's too it's too much into the game. He only used it on the big item. Why does, why wouldn't he Okay, okay, serious question. Why wouldn't he just do double Q here on the wave? Like I don't get it. Shouldn't he just Q two times, kill the wave? So it crashes into the tower and then look to TP? Isn't it just being lazy again? Like you guys are saying mana, like come on, he has fucking almost full mana in that clip. Is this this mana hunger? As a Zeus would gives you vision, you can kind of see where enemies are. Damn. And now he's just gonna like... Regening his... Oh, look at that, what he just did. Wow, that's amazing. He constantly does this thing where he just regens more mana. That's really impressive. Checks with W for a war spot. That does uh, consume a lot of mana though. He's lower level than the, the other guy. I don't know what's happening right now. Why is that guy's name is something like Tyler's doing homework? <laughs> this guy has 8.2k 8 goals. Is that his teammate? Or the enemy? It's his teammate. What the fuck is the guy so hot? Is this guy, right? Is it this guy? Oh, it's the pirate champion, right? It's the pirate guy that I tried. Is Tom playing? Which is this position three? Arms really fast. Is seven one? Mm. The guy you're watching a pro? Yeah, apparently. Siege pro V. No, I want to watch mid lane. I never do this, I never go to the where the bounty runes are and try to snipe them off for potion refill. This is a useful thing. Where are you, boy? Wardstone. Oh, 
What did his support just do? What did his support just do there? He took the creep? Really? What the fuck? My support lost that? I run it down. Shut up. I don't even play the game anymore. I don't care. Okay, I don't know why what just happened, but that guy is just dead as fuck. Wait, what? What happened here? No, no, no. Wait, what? What happened? Oh, he swapped item and used the magic. And now he got another item. Okay, people are trying to TP away. What is he doing? Bro, read my second spell CD. What? I for for a moment for a moment I thought he was talking to me. It's help you on group stage. Well, bro is just trash talking? The fuck does he think he is? I've noticed like he's never done a cannon minion in this game. Every time there's a cannon minion on the wave, he just dips the wave. Radiant's Literally. He has all the minions but the cannon and just dips. Because cannon in this game is just trash gold valley compared to in League where you really need Radiant's the cannon. Top tower has courier has been Oi! Killed. What is this? Radiance top tower is under attack. Zeus Q range is really amazing at some point. Holy moly, this champion. Yes, the haste rune. You can just perma chase, right? And the haste rune is just really strong. Wow, wow, what the fuck? Okay. The haste rune is turbo OP. Oh, wait, he got the scepter now, right? Where his auto attacks are. His Q or what? Did you get that scepter? A shard, I mean, whatever. I mean, once you get that Azus, it's like so nice to play. Oh my god. The way supports are stacking camps is beautiful. He has a button. Where he upgrades the fucking neutral item he wants, and I need that, bro. I always click on it like an idiot. Again, he's not doing the cannon. Actually, I don't know if there was a cannon there or not. I mean, I like what he's doing here. Like, he obviously doesn't have mana to fight, so he's just gonna power farm for some time. His teammates don't agree, though. His teammates wanna fight. He kinda needs maybe some clarities. Or maybe he needs like the bounty rune. What is his courier bringing? He's bringing Yasha. He has this item now. I assume he's gonna drop item on the ground now? Oh no, he didn't drop this item. And now he just... <gasps> wow, that's fucked up. He stole it from him. I, restore my connection to the void. I mean, what does he do now? Like, he has no mana. He still, I mean, he still has auto attacks, I guess. Okay. Oh. Okay, so he's gonna quickly base. He's gonna quickly base and use TP, I guess, because he thinks waiting in, in base right now is pretty.
think we stop them. Bombs more camps. I mean, in Dota, you definitely need to have super high coordination when it comes to professional play or whatever. In League, like, Mockery is very simplified these days. People just going to jog on the barn every five minutes. The coordination Radiant's you need to have is insane. Is under attack. In League, like, League is less voice chat reliant in this game, for sure. I would say. What is he doing right now? Just random AFKs. The thing about Dota is like, do, chat, the Dota pros play best of fives because like, this has to be so much more draining to play than uh, League, right? League games aren't nearly as draining to play, I'm all. Because in League you kind of autopilot mechanics a lot, but in Dota you have to constantly look at the map and constantly, you know, play consistently from minute one to, to the finish. And the later the game goes, the more you probably need to focus, honestly. But even then, you need to focus at all times. Well, yeah, the way he's farming is really nice. He's gonna go up to the camps. It's very interesting how you, like, you can just... You can just, like... You can just, like, even though you're hat, you don't have to necessarily pressure. You can just farm more and go... Put the camps on cooldown. But they're constantly respawning, there's too many of them in this game, so honestly, like... Dyer's middle tower Ooh, what the attack. fuck is that? Radiant are scanning. Damn. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Like what now? Like he's just farming the whole game? That reminds me of my gameplay. What oh, is his auto attack speed? His attack speed feels kind of nice. When did he even sell the branches? I don't even remember him selling a branch. He has Manta stun now. That's it. That's it, buddy. Can you Manta or not? He's not using it for a camp. I thought he would like use Manta to farm. Is he not gonna? Oh, there, we, there it is. Is he looking at the Manta at all or not? What? Dyer's top tower is under attack. Wait, they're just standing still the entire time? Dyer's top tower has fallen. There's no micro going on here. Even I have better micro than that. They click the wave and ignore. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. You can just like farm lanes with this shit. Amanta is so good on Zeus too. Dude, that item has like no cooldown. It's crazy. He doesn't have that good micro, I'm gonna be honest. This guy is definitely not a StarCraft player, let me tell you that much. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Zeus ain't a micro hero? That's an excuse that I will not tolerate in this shot. Radiance bottom tower Every hero attack. can be a micro hero. Radiance as long as you make it. Fortified. He's a fucking pro player, isn't he? It's time to improve, buddy. What is this? 
Look, Nathward, this game is kind of over. Yeah, the rat chumps are all his teammates, right? And yeah, enemy team is really giga behind. Radiance middle tower is under attack. He plays Meepo, he has a good micro, he's just being lazy. Fair enough. Ouch! When his moose is just farming and using Manta to, to send his clones to waves. Alright. I wanna do one more VOD review, okay? I'm gonna quit here. Alright, listen up. Someone give me a really high skilled Meepo VOD. Come on, someone in chat, link me. I wanna watch a Meepo VOD just for the funsies. Give me a Meepo bot. You're gonna need to give me like the ID here. I don't know what the fuck is W333. Can't you guys give me just this or not? There's someone linked one. Radiant Victory. There's no Meepo here though. Oh no, there is. This guy? He's rank 9. It, is it which position? Is it position 2? Wait, how do I what? Don't let me play. Alright. Let's see it. I just want to watch one for the fun. This. That's position one. Do we have position two? Should I wait till someone links a position two? Alright, wait. Let's do another one. Uh, replace this. This shit? Just done. Uh, there we go. Where's the Meepo guy? This? Wait, what? But this one's already in the bag! This guy. Is not mid lane? This guy's playing top. I mean, should I just watch this? I mean, it's position one. Do I just watch it or, or do I go position two? Watch it? Whatever, let's just watch it. Yeah, I wanna see. Let me go back. Now that's more like it.
Okay, chat is saying I need to watch position. God damn it, chat. Okay, you fuckers need to give me an actual replay of position too. Fucking hell. This better be position two. I'm gonna fucking mold if it's not position two. Plus time, plus time. Uh, where is he? Wait, what? What is Meepa in this case? Wrong team? Wait. Press top icon. What up, Icon? This. And now if I play? Am I watching Meepo now or not? I am. I'm watching him, right? Why is- why is he inting? What's going on? Why- why- Oh my god, it's a level 1 fight, bro. Who's gonna die? Hey, Fucking clown fiesta, what the fuck? This team won though. Does Meepo buy bottle because he's meat? Probably not, yeah. The, the enemy mid laner is just taking so much damage. You can cancel your channel on W, I've noticed. Yeah. And the enemy champion has mastery Alpha Shike who can like dodge the ability, right? He swapped the branch there before he ate a tree, right? Or what happened there? Oh no, he put a branch on the ground. To eat a tree. Wait, he's level 3. What spell did he upgrade right now? I'm confused. Where did the point and the ability go? Oh, he's holding it? What is he doing right now? What the fuck? Wow, okay, that guy really... He's just eating branches like crazy. He's kind of ignoring the enemy champion and just trying to farm as much as he can. He's constantly doing the same trick when it comes to minion wave pulling. 
He got boots by the courier. Oh, there's two of them now. Let me go back. Like, this is crazy. What? How did he TP that fast with one of them, bro? Oh my god, I know he's gonna TP the other one. Dude, that character is disgusting! Okay, question, question, question. Each Meepo is holding one TP individually, so you have to spend 100 gold for each Meepo, or what? For the TP? That's crazy. No? Only, no, only the main one. Only the main t Meepo can TP. Oh, so the main Meepo was low there. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Wow, man, this, this is disgusting, bro. This character is disgusting. Like, how, this, there's no way this is not bad. Like, this is not completely overtuned in a good player sense. This is like a scripter champion, like, honestly. The fuck? You just want to script with this champion, don't you? What is he doing with that, the other Meepo? He's holding it in Fog of War to do what exactly? What? Why did he do that? that was not yours. Stack what? Stack a camp? Oh, so he aggroed a camp and stacked it that way through a wall. Shouldn't he be sending a Meepo there to, like, right now? Not 60 seconds. Oops, wait, hold on. Right there, like, what about the rune here? Oh, he did take it. Oh, he took both runes. I was like, shouldn't he take both runes? But I guess he did. The fact that they have the same attack animations is so easy to last hit with them. But Riot needs to release a champion where you're like, piloting two champions at the same time. Denied. They need to do that, man. And then if one of them dies, both die. So why is the other Meepo AFK? Is it too early to do jungle camps? He's just stacking. Okay. So he uses the Meepo to just stack, basically, the camp all the time. Oh, and then he takes the bounty rune. Oh, so then he can just go roam to a side lane. He can teleport the other Meepo if he wants to. And now there's two Meepo on bot lane. Did G2 2-0 uh, Fnatic? Yeah, they did. Classic. Bro, that's disgusting champion. Like, this is disgusting chat. This is disgusting. What the fuck is this champion? I don't really get how the wards work. Like, he placed the ward there, but can't enemy clear it? Oh my god. You can't even contest runes against this shit, bro. Oh, so he's gonna walk into the enemy team to stop a camp. Oh my god, bro. Then he just pours the other meep on top and gets a kill. Bro, I mean the micro is really good, yeah. He, he has good micro, this guy. He's failing some last hits here and there. No, like, he can just gank sidelines all day. Like, what is even the counter play? And then he can, like, split the targets, and then once he finishes the one target, he teleports to another target to chase down another kill.
He falls off. He falls off late game. The night? What do you mean the night? What happened? How does life steal the night? Oh, Roshan can kill you. Wait, the Baron is in the game this early already? I mean, in League you get the gold, right? Even if someone buy, dies to Baron, if you damage them. I guess you don't in this game. That was about uh, clarity or whatever it's called. Why does he chop a tree there? Is it just for pathing or what? And you can like send Meepos. You can send Meepos to base to heal them and then teleport them back anyway. If you get a haste rune, you only one Meepo gets haste, yeah? Or what? Wait, he teleported the Meepo back because the fight was lost? What is this? Dyer's middle tower is under Moonlight attack. Shadow. Oh, this is the camps he stacked earlier, chat. Why doesn't he cast W on both heroes here? Oh, he farms so fast. What is this? Occult bracelet. When does he get another Meepo? When is the next Meepo? Level 10? Eleven. He stacked again? Yeah, this camp down there he stacked, yeah. He's by far most ahead in gold. Wow. Wow, look at this farming. He farms so fast. Bro, this is action APM champion. Like, y you can never fucking stop with this champion. Like, once you turn it on, you cannot stop. Like, literally. You cannot turn it off at this point. Should he even be stacking camps though anymore? Like at this point, is it still worth to stack camps? Say hello to my and now he gets even more meepos, bro. This is complicated. Why does he have so many buttons? Where's the rest of meepos? Okay, he teleported them. Wait, he uses the illusions to, to pull waves or what? What is he doing exactly? Can you teleport to the illusion? You probably can't, right? You can? What the fuck is it? Is it proxying waves or what? Like, what is this gameplay right now? What the fuck are illusions, bros? He just teleported to bot side for free. What am I watching? I mean, even for me, it's a bit hard to follow. Like, what is this thing on the ground? Cobalt. It's like, what is that? Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Do you use GPM in aura, gold per minute. So now he has three Meepos. Now he's gonna teleport 50 Meepos on top of him. Yeah. Ooh, 
about that before. <laughs> the price is mine. It's absolutely crazy how much he's farming. What is this item? Targets an enemy, slowing it for four seconds. It's absolutely crazy how much power you have with this, this champion. Each attack burns 40 mana from the target. You can just like pe make people go oom because you have so many meepos to attack them. What are meepos uh, talent shoes? Please, plus 50 proof damage, plus 7 shank, 15 evasion, 2.5 earthbind cooldown, 8 ranshack heal still, heal still, earthbind grants true shock on targets. Pack rat, what is pack rat? What the fuck is pack rat? Oh, salt. What alt of what? Oh. Oh wait, wait, sorry. What the fuck am I doing? Wait, where is Mipa? Can equip any item in neutral item slot. Is that a useful passu? So you can buy... You can buy a late game item? No? Spot? Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Mega Meepo. Primary Meepo mounts all other Meepos in the 600 radius around him. Wait, so one of the scepters is that you... One of the scepters is that you become one Meepo? But you're basically... Isn't that kind of useless? Don't you kind of defeat the purpose of the champion this way? Digs into the ground for a short duration, dispelling Meepo and causes him to become invulnerable on the target for 3 seconds. Restores 25% of his max health. You get all the stats? No, it says you get 40% of the other people, Meepo stats. No, it's good. It's the best part. When a small Meepo is low HP, you can make a big Meepo. Oh, it's like an ability. You can like equip and de-equip it or what? Okay, I thought it's like permanent. That's how I was like, this sounds fucking useless. Okay, yeah, then it makes sense. So they tried to pass, and enemy team instant passed. Uh oh, is he that? Uh oh, what did he just do? He just ran it down, no?
You're not in me po POV? I am. Am I not? I am, no? Oh, no. He's constantly swapping his shots, I'm noticing, like perma. So the time for five seconds if they're enemy and grants bonus move speed. Threat switching is kind of crazy. Weeple has the shard already? Okay. Dyer's middle tower is under I want to see him use it. Oh, he made the sh he got the shard actually. He didn't get the scepter. Yeah, that guy is just dead with no counterplay. That's cool. Oh, he should use the shard here, no? Oh, he did. Oh, he used the shard. He's using the shard. Is that? Is this team losing? Is Meep out scaled? Are they gonna lose? His W spike can farm so insanely well. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. What does this structure do? I don't get this. What does this do? Use a shard to a teammate? Isn't that like 1400 free gold? Pretty much? Or what? Amazing for supports. So some of the Meepas are just AFK and Ancient Camps, I've noticed. Oh, he tried to TP away, now he's fucked, right? Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried to TP away with them, and he, he got cancelled with CC. And then he tried to TP another Meepo in, and he got, like, one of the Meepo, Meepos got one shot. Damn, that's kinda hard to play, no? It, it, you just die, I mean, you can die so easily with this champion. But this champion is just so tough to execute perfectly. Oh, basic CC is a counter to me, but I mean, yeah. 
I mean, his early game feels kind of insane, though. Once Dyer's he gets a couple of Mikos, the, the spike is so crazy. This pleases the master. Yeah, enemy life stealer is same gold already. What the fuck? Is it over? Radiance middle tower is under attack. I feel like it's over. I see a head again. What happened even? He got the thingy, yeah? Yeah, he got it. Brings you to life with full health amount of 5 seconds after you die, location where you died. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Go back, you missed a big fight. Tower is under attack. Bounty. That's the life stealer. What is going on? What? He blink dagger TP'd an enemy. Is this live still a champion gonna die chat or what's going on right now? Is he going to die? Oh my! Nah dude that's so disgusting. How does he micro? How does he micro manage to like do that so fast there? He tp two bot to clear and two top to clear. And now that enemy has such long death timers, he's obviously gonna catch up by farming, I guess, right? Oh, he wants to do Baron. Meepo can just solo this Baron, right? Look at that, he's permacising this fucking Corky or whatever this is. He permacis it him, literally. Russian spelled backwards is Nasher. That's crazy, is that intentional or what? Was Riot first? Or was Dota first? Who was first, Leak stole it? Nah, you guys are wrong in the chat. League was 100% first. What the fuck are we saying? Come on, chat, L. So many of them. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Riot made Dota too. Radiance 
Fuck you with the pass. Are you fucking crazy? This is so tilting. Like, okay, I really don't get it, okay? So what I really don't get is, like, how... Like, okay, like, like imagine this hypothetical scenario, okay? You have five meeples on you, and let's say, like, this meeple right here is one HP. And you wanna, like, you know, you wanna, like, press him in to, for it to go back. Like, how do you, how do you fucking select that? Exactly this meeple, in, in, immediately, without, like, thinking which meeple it is. Yeah, you guys are saying hotkeys, but how do you exactly know which meepo it is, though? Control group hotkey. You can see the set of hotkey for each individual. Yeah, but how do you know which meepo it is? That's why it's difficult. Oh, do you have like a do you have like a bar on the left, and then like you know which meepo it is based on the bar? Okay, that that would make more sense to me. Ah, okay, then it makes sense. Are we serious? Why are we fucking paused? Haha, <laughs> bro is tipping in front of him. Oh, BKB. That's BKB. And then he teleports away. Yeah, but he can just follow him with his blink dash item. Is that? Wow, the amount of mobility is so crazy. Boom! 50 meeples teleport on top of you. That is just so disgusting. That's all I'm gonna say. How does he know this guy's here? Does he beat the lifestealer 1v1? Oh no, the lifestealer just tipped it away or whatever happened. People can just like go into your jungle and like hide on, on the bottom and top parts of the map really easily in this game. And you won't really know they're, they're there, right? I've also noticed that people don't really like siege towers much because it's so easy to just get flanked and die in, this, on, on, in Dota because Fog of War is so much more oppressive than it is in League. That's sir. It's... Holy fuck, he's out life stealing! What the fuck is the champion? Well, I don't have a feeling he's gonna die. Is he just that strong? He's not gonna... Oh, okay. Oh, he's back! I forgot he has GA. Oh my god, he dug the grave with that Meepo. He's dogging graves all the time. He's dogging graves. He's dead though. How is that Meepo alive? Oh my god, he can just teleport them out, maybe. Oh, it's hard, it's hard, it's hard. Come on, come on. Oh, that was so close! I don't even know what happened! That was, that was so close! I don't know what even happened, honestly. I was so I was so confused what was going on. That was so close. Now we have a hundred second death timer. Yeah, let me take a let me take a shower actually. Yeah, let me just, you know. Let me just fucking I don't know what man. Take a fucking nap and come back. Plus 60 seconds. We ain't we ain't waiting that long. There's no shot I'm waiting that long. What is he buying? So he bought the sweep blink that gives agility. 
And he bought this. Like, what? Those are the only items he has? I guess these two items are really expensive, yeah? They're like both 5k. Does he have like low amount of items? Oh no, he just got this. Oh, so he has the big Meepa now. Yeah, he, he can he can be the big Meepa now, yeah? Look at the neutral item. Nemesis curse. Hero takes 80% more damage from all sources. Wait, this item makes you last tanky? Name after me? Oh, and of course, we have Nemesis Jackson League, we have Nemesis items in Dota, like, I literally made both games. Funny little thing, you can just tank towers in this game, they don't do anything. Towers in this game just don't do fucking shit. Nemesis made Blizzard. No, 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 I didn't make Blizzard, guys. That company is trash. I definitely didn't make Blizzard. He's gonna TP top to be efficient. That's cool. No, he probably is gonna TP half of me puffs and half he want to farm more. Oh, he's stuck in the camp. I am from is he, he wants to do Baron soon, I suppose? Or what is that? We go. Rush spawns at the random time? Wait, what? Really? There's a random timer? Barn is 7 to 12 minutes respawn time randomly. That's kinda awful. Why the fuck would it be random? Wait, what is this item? Psych of Views. Target turns the target unit into a harmless creature. Oh, so he just he just hexes you and then perma CCs you. Fucking disgusting. Shit's disgusting, bro. Look at his net worth. Radiance Wait, he bought the potion and drank it or what? He's just randomly diving enemy base. Where did all the Meepos go? Did he, he dug the grave, right? Or what happened? Wait, where are they? They're all invisible? Mega Meepo. Oh, there he is. First time I see that. I didn't even realize. Fat Cat Shuffles, thanks for the sub. This Blink Dagger item is so disgusting. You just teleport an enemy, perma CC, insta CC with no counterplay. Like, oh, holy shit, it's disgusting. Oh, he grabbed them. Run, Meepo. Run. 
Where did he go? Oh! He dogs the grave and then uses blink dagger and now he tips out. You are such a disgusting champion. Oh, he dogs the graves to heal them, right? Digs the graves. I don't know what's going on. It's 40 minute game. I don't know how like no one is ending the game. I guess two of his teammates died, so they're just gonna play slow, I guess, right? They wanna check Baron. Oh Jesus. They win. You're trying to last hit it or what? It's the big Meepo. It's perma CC though, he can't move. Live Stealer is just CCing him, right? Or what's happening? Like what like who who gets the bar in this game? Is it just like whoever last hits it, like in league? Who picks up the item? How can you even pick up the item when champions are on top of each other? Oh, it's over now. They're just gonna end. Wow. 40 minutes. 40 minutes for that. Pfft, dude. Bro, that's crazy. He just bought in the Nexus shop? Wait, you can buy from enemy Nexus? Come on, that shouldn't be in the game. Surely we think that shouldn't be in the game. Also, Mephisto, thanks for the support, dear. That is disgusting. Like, why? Why is that in the game? Uh... All right, well, that was a lot of information to process. Holy, Meepo is too hard, guys. Meepo is too hard. Zeus one was fun to watch though. <clears throat> I need to learn how to stack camps better. I need to stack camps, fight runes better, a lot of things to do. Watch through side. Next time chat. I'm done for today. It's 9.30. I need to hop off.